Villanova 71, Ohio State 61. The Wildcats are heading to the Sweet 16 for the third time in the last four NCAA tournaments. We're joined by Coach Jay Wright. And Jay, down the stretch in this game, Ohio State closes in, and you guys were having trouble actually putting baskets together. It was the defense that came up big. Why? Yeah, Johnny, I, that, that's the leadership of our guys. You know, when you get in those tough situations, and, and the, the other team's just really good. You know, you, you're not breaking down. They're just really good. You've got to have the experience to understand. You're not going to just hit a big shot to win it. You got to get stops, and you got to get rebounds. And and our guys dug in and did that when when Ohio State took it to another level offensively. They were really good, and they took it to another level defensively. And uh, our guys understood we we had to finish it off with defensive rebounding, and I was proud of them. One of the traits of your offense is the ability to post up guards. And how big of an example was that play where Colin is posted up and he finds Eric Dixon? Yeah. It, it just shows you um, how intelligent and unselfish Colin is. It shows you uh, what a good team Ohio State is because they weren't going to let it happen. They were forcing us to go to the next, the next look. You know, and that's where you give Colin credit. He didn't force it. He found Eric and give Eric a lot of credit for having the guts to stick that. I remember talking in October, and you said to me, we have to make sure we find plan B, C, D, and E. How much do you feel like you're finding different options here? I, I think, Johnny, you're, you're right. We're, we're starting to figure that out just in time. You know, sometimes you go through a season, you lose your last game, you just, you just feel like, man, if we had another week, you know, if we had, I think we're getting, I think we started to get it in the Big East tournament. and. Um, and I think the Big East tournament was really valuable to us in, in learning a lot. That's what I always say about our conference. You're going to play against great coaches. They're, they're going to pick apart every little thing you do. They're going to force you to find options C, D, and E. And I think we figured that out in the Big East tournament because of the teams we played against. Jermaine Samuels, 17 points, 7 of 9 from the field. What is he giving you? He is just really coming into his own as a player. Uh, every player develops at a different pace you know and, and he's he's developed incredibly well in our program but I think he's taken it to that final level right now in his career in his last year he just knows when he's when to make a play what's the right play he's really intelligent really talented and uh, he's carrying us right now he did through the Big East tournament he's doing it now you're the dean of this league Jay as humble as you are I have to say uh, Providence is in the Sweet 16 on the men's side joining you in the women's game, Villanova women are moving on after a win in Ann Arbor. Yep. Creighton just punched the program's first ticket to the Sweet 16 nice. in their history. I watched that game. I ran out of time. They were playing Iowa in yeah. Iowa. Um, that's great. That's a great win. Obviously, UConn women as well hopeful, and you know it with your women's program. What do you make of the status of the league? I'm proud of our league. I, I'm, I'm so... Um, I'm so proud of, of Val and, and, and all of her staff, um, Stu and Vince and everybody. I, you know, I was an old school Big East guy. When it when we broke up, I was I was a doubter. I, I mean, I didn't I was a I, I didn't have a choice because I wasn't going to go anywhere. But um, this has uh, surpassed what I thought it can be, and and I think it's just going to continue. I, I think the commitment that the schools have made. Uh, on both the men's and women's side are going to continue to grow this league. And I don't, I don't think we've seen the best of it yet. All right, Michigan on Thursday in San Antonio. I'm not going to ask you for advice on the Riverwalk. I think I'll ask yeah. your super seniors' parents, though, because exactly. I, I saw them. Exactly. Everyone had a good time down there. We were in a Final Four. I couldn't tell you, we never left the hotel. I didn't see anything. Um, people always say to me, oh, San Antonio's great. You won the Final Four. I'm like, I never saw it. <laughs> we went from the arena to the hotel. So, but I know everyone else had a great time. Good luck on Thursday. Thanks, Johnny.